Why did the creditors challenge the Boston Generating deal? The deal was challenged by the second lien creditors and the unsecured creditors. The first lien creditors, of course, were perfectly happy with the sale. And the reason they challenged it was notwithstanding a very, very thorough auction process, which unquestionably obtained the best possible price, there wasn't enough money for the seconds or the unsecureds to be in the money, so there was no downside at all in them challenging the process, trying to derail it. The entire risk was on the first lien lenders. What obstacles are left for Boston Generating? A uh, full and final agreement of the parties toward a consensual plan is the principal obstacle. The parties have been in mediation before another bankruptcy judge have made a lot of progress, but as of today, you have not seen a plan filed. What's been unusual about the Boston Generating case? The litigation was incredibly bitter over a very lengthy period of time. It even went to the Second Circuit on a certification of a legal question by the bankruptcy judge, although the Second Circuit ultimately ended it uh, by A, refusing to grant a stay, and B, refusing to certify uh, the legal question. But all of that was pretty unique. It's a new procedure. It took us into uncharted territory. And of course, a 363 sale out of the box where it is alleged that it wasn't necessary and that a plan could have been done instead is, is an important precedent.